Hey, are you, are you limping? A little bit. What's that? Oh, God. What's I, going on there? I'm just starting to seize up here. Yeah, I gotta... Did you sleep in a weird position? No, it's not that. I've just been, you know, just a little under the weather. It started as a scratchy throat, and then it went right to the legs, right right to the limp. Yeah, it sounds like yeah. upper respiratory lower leg thing. Want to feel my head? Yeah. Or my legs? You, you don't feel warm to me. Yeah, I don't feel feverish. It's just like a... You just feel achy. Maybe you're coming down with something, man. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I, yeah. These feelings are like, it's uh, more big. Yeah. More total. I'm, I'm thinking it, it could be... Uh, some some kind of neurological problem. Maybe. Either that or a blood disorder or something uh -huh. to do ben, with... Ben, have you been hitting the, the medical books again, my medical books? I, I Have you a... been looking at them? I, I, I read a little bit last oh, night. Oh, God. Well, you know, Dad, the book... I'm going to hide them. Well, I'm just going to, I don't think you should have access to it. Remember what happened last time? Well, when I read the books? Yeah. I got sick. It, 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 but it took took me three doctors and $500 to convince you that you didn't have an ovarian you cyst. Well, you know, I still believe I did. But the point is, uh, the, the books don't give me the illness. The books help. Why don't you call a, do a doctor just to set your mind at ease? Maybe I'll call Dr. Mepstein then today. No, why don't you call a real doctor, a grown-up doctor? You're too old to call call your pediatrician, Ben. Doesn't it embarrass you to go there, to, to, to loom over all these little kids? Well, you know... To sit on his lap? I'm still young, and, uh, you know, there's no, there's no real age limit to seeing your pediatrician. No, I think there is, actually. Well... I, I know it's fun to go there, and that, that you get special attention, because you're his oldest patient, and he's very fond of you. But it's just the problems of, an, uh, of a young man, the medical problems of a young man, are different than those of a little boy. Yeah. You know? Are hot flashes bad? I'll give you a hot flesh. Hi, Laura. Hi. Hi. Well, geez, what an incredible, perfect, perfect, perfect day. I mean, you read about days like this, but to actually live one, you know, I feel like, what did I do to deserve this? You know? Mm -hmm. No. Back to school weather. It's I feel uh, like a like a schoolboy, you know, with my knickers and that's obscene. You know, just a uh, you know running to play ball, catch up with the school bus, the big the, the convergence of 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 death and renewal, the the changing of the colors of the leaves. <sighs> all right, the, uh, Okay, I had a little coffee. That's all I'm saying. You know, I feel pretty good about I myself. Noticed. Wow, how are you doing? Fine. Yeah, but it is. You have to admit, it's a beautiful, beautiful day out there. Okay, no more coffee for you. Okay, right? You're I'm cut done. off. Jeez, will you look? I can't believe this tree. That it's real. It looks like a postcard. Mm. I actually see some 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 writing. Oh, look at that! It's just un unbelievable. Oh, that's just the, uh, that's sweet. Yeah. Look at that. What's that? A little bee. We're, str we're outside struggling to get in. That, it's inside struggling to get out. Okay, let's move slowly, and I'll tell you why. Because a sudden movement could yeah. be misinterpreted by your new friend. Okay, so I'm going to stay in my office for a while, and uh, when the bee's gone, then uh, I'll tell you what, I'll come in and we can talk about it. You're afraid of bees. Well, it's not so much that I'm afraid of them. I just I don't, I, I act irrationally around them. You know, I'm 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 look I'm I'm concerned I'm going to do something to that bee that we're both going to regret. So I'm really what I'm I'm, I'm overly protective of them of anything. So. Sounds crazy, right? Yeah. But I'm going to my office now. Okay, mm -hmm. bye. Bye. I, I don't no. know. You know, no. it's, it's, it's really, it, it gets to me after a while being a comedian, Doc, because people always try and give me material. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like these guys give me material. I mean, the reason these guys are working at the plant is because they're not, you know, I'm not putting them down or nothing. My friend Turtle comes up to me. True story, Doc. Yeah. He says, I got something maybe you can use. I'm thinking, oh, okay, what? He says, you know how when you take vitamin B, your urine's real, like, yellow and orange? I said, yeah. He goes, could you use that? And I said, well, geez, Turtle, that's a whole album side right there. Why don't you be a comedian? It's so hilarious. You know what I'm saying? They don't realize what's involved. Doc, yeah. can I tell you something about me as a comedian? I don't go for the big laugh. Oh, that's the easy way out. I don't go mm -hmm. for the big laugh, the big ha ha. I go for the, the nervous titter. I want people to look at me and think, "Hey, I can do that." You know what I'm saying? Is there a lot of money in that? Well, it's uh, you know I'm comfortable. Yeah. Can I tell you why I'm in therapy? Please. For my family, because you... they can't afford it. I don't need therapy. 
I, you know, I mean, I got a lot out the last time I went to a psychiatrist. Mm -hmm. No, well, well, she, she, I know, is a very fine therapist. Well, right? yeah. Why did you stop seeing her? She hit me. Um, see, you don't mean literally she hit you. She really waffled me. I mean, she just gave it to me and I, you know, had to get out of there. That's not right. You shouldn't, you shouldn't have to go through that. I get it. I get it. You're playing on my fear, right? Because that's, everyone knows that's the funniest thing you can do is to, is to play into someone's fear. Is this the right time to talk about a raise? Stop it. Baby. Okay, what's up, Ben? I can't really talk right now, so make it make it snappy. Well, I just wanted to uh, uh, fill you in on uh, what's happened over well, the course cool. of the morning. Phil, because I really got to go. It's yeah. not a good time to talk. Yeah, I'm still feeling a little uh, tight in the uh, in the in the neck mm -hmm. and uh, down toward the back and moving into the groin, which doesn't feel so bad. Okay, Ben, that's all you, all the time I have right you now. No, actually, you, I did. What? I did. I had. I made myself though a, okay. a fruit shake, and that uh, that kind of pumped me up for a bit. But then I. I yeah. I kind of passed, and I gave myself. A okay, Ben. You know, as much as I enjoy this, and you know, there's nothing I like better than talking about your your illness. Yeah. Well, I'm. I'm I gotta go. Okay. What? So you've been great. Whoa. You know, okay. I did uh, read an article though in a yeah. medical journal uh, yeah. that. Uh, whole, I'll be well, just one second, Laura. Yeah. A whole group of people mm -hmm. in in New Mexico uh, died. Okay. Talk to you later, Ben. Wait. Whoa. Whoa. You know, I'm soaking my the feet. The next sound you hear is going to be the sound of the dial tone. I don't like that sound. I man. don't like to hang up on you, but I ha if I will, I have to. All right, I'm hanging up on I you. I will then. All right, I'm I have up. to. I'll hang up. Bye. I hung up. Love you. Love you. I don't like the summer specifically because I have red hair, you know, so I don't really tan. I just kind of burst into flames. That's a, that's a talent. And also because everybody's exercising, and I... I don't exercise, but uh, I don't really have to because I've always been one of those people that uh, I can eat anything I want and I just get really fat. I can eat ice cream and cake all day and I just get huge like a pig. It's not a problem. Well, it's probably your metabolism. I also used to drink, but I stopped drinking. And uh, I, I think, though, that uh, the only good thing about drinking is that it's educational sure. because every time you get really hammered, you, you come away with a little piece of wisdom that you never Not forget thereafter. What, last time I got really drunk, I learned that if you ever go Christmas caroling, you should go with like a group of people, you know, because if you go alone and drunk, it's really not taken the same way. And you should also go around December. That's the time of year you really are expected that because if you're out in July and you're naked, with a bottle of vodka going, Jingle Bells! You suck! Most people wouldn't consider that caroling. Have you ever, you ever see somebody that you don't know again? You know, like someone who's a total stranger, but they keep popping up once in a while. Right. Like God is running out of extras in the movie of your life or something. He's starting to reuse people like... Okay, you be the guy in the bus. But I was just the jogger. Just go, put a hat on. I don't care. I see what you mean. That's how God talks. He has a very booming voice. Okay, so, uh, so you're heading home now, Laura? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm just going to get a couple of things together and, and head out myself. Let me, uh, yeah. how's the situation out there? Under, uh, it's fine. Under control? The, uh, yeah. The bee situation? It's still in here. Let me ask you something. If Could you... Wh where exactly is the bee in, in relation to the to the exit? Uh, it's sort of hovering right around the, the main exit. Yeah. Let me ask you a favor. Yeah? And if you can't do it, I understand. Um, uh -huh. Could you smack the life out of that bee? Just give it a good wallop. I'm, you want me to kill for you? You kill for me now, and I'll never ask you to kill again. Uh, no. Okay. Then let's... That's true. I, 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 I actually admire your um, appreciation for life, you know, and for all living things. But, but I have a feeling that bee has such contempt for you that uh, you'd get a lot of pleasure just squishing the life out of it. Right. 
I actually saw a therapist to this because it was getting to the point where I, I would stay inside for three months a year. Huh. I actually wouldn't go outdoors when there were, when there were insects out there. So you, you got help? Well, I'm sitting, I'm talking to this woman and describing my problem to her, and I notice that she has this tiny little waist. And I'm thinking to myself, how do I know she's not one of them? Ooh, yeah. this is a big deal for you. Yeah. But I did see a, a behavioral therapist. Uh-huh, and what do you say? And they, they put you through what's called systematic desensitization. Hmm. That's five steps, the last step, if you can go the route. They put you alone in a room with several hundred bees. Holy jeez. That's the final step. Oof. Just confronting your worst nightmare. Uh-huh. I only got past the first step. Which was? They put you alone in a room with a dead horse. <laughs> so you see, you're like building up from there. That's right. This is, this is, I never knew this about you. This is a big deal. This is severe. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't play professional baseball. Because of the bees? Well, that was one of the issues. Hmm. <laughs> I'm starting to think that maybe these feelings are like, uh, they're possibly genetic. Like it, it could be something that it was, uh, was prenatal. Or, or even just after natal. The, mm -hmm. I mean, maybe it's something. Do you ever experience these, these kind of things? These, the sensations, the uh, the well, feelings. The, when the, I was in yeah. pre med, I went through a period where I where I kept coming down with stuff. It's called intern's disease. What's that? Well, you read about you. You know too much. Essentially, is what happens. You become too familiar with all the things that can go wrong medically, and you start developing symptoms. So it is your fault. Yeah, right. You've inherited intern's disease from me. Well, that having to go to the expense of medical school. Right. Well, uh, you know, then I guess I. You know what you. You know what you're gonna. Thanks. You know what you're gonna inherit from me, don't you? <laughs> a whooping. Oh, man, that's what you got coming to you, my friend. Oh, it's about time. But but it is amazing what they can do now with the uh, with the gene splicing. You know, they've taken the head of Gene Autry and attached it to the body of Gene Rayburn. You got to stop. Yeah. Well, now keep going. They found the gene for shyness, I think I told you that. Oh, really? Yeah, they would have found it years ago. It's hiding behind a couple of other genes. I feel better now. Do you feel like, like your thoughts are controlled by a computer? Yes, a, a large computer. Windows or Mac? They, they, they make me do things I don't want to do. Like what? The frug, twist, the holly gully dances that I would have let go a long time ago. But I can't help it, Doc. Look at this. Look at the way I move. Check this out. Check this body out. Look, look at my extension. Look at the way I can stretch my little legs. Look, did you ever know I could put my leg behind my head like this? <sighs> yes, I know that. You showed me last week. You know what? I always, the time I always wanted to live in during the Old West. I always wanted to live in the Old West because life was so simple then. Like you go, you could go into a saloon and just go, uh, give me a glass of beer and a bottle of whiskey and a room for a week and a steak dinner and a shave and a haircut and a bath and some new clothes and a hat and some boots and some oats from a horse. And here, keep the change. Bing! And I don't want to put words in your mouth, but what, what, I, what I hear you saying is that you wish that the transactions between men and women were simpler were more logical oh definitely yeah because uh i don't know i i find that if you go up to a woman uh when you go up to a woman and ask her out and she says no you never know how to uh how to walk away afterwards mm -hmm. like there's this awkward moment because they don't give you like a nice outline like no and you should go over there now or something you know you go up you're like hey lisa Listen, uh, you want, I know we don't know each other that well, but you want to go out or something? Oh, that's very nice. No. Oh, what, do you have, like, a boyfriend or something? No. Oh. Oh, yeah, well, uh, 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 ha, 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 well, ah. Plus, um, yeah. you know, Ben has, uh, is really rattling me these days. You know, he's on one of these kicks that he gets on where he, he's gotten into my medical books again. Oh, jeez. So now he's coming down with everything. 
Oh, I don't think this is very healthy of him to do this. You know, it no, sounds like he needs to do something else with his time. Absolutely. I mean, I've been saying this for years. I just don't, I can't find something. Maybe he needs a hobby. He's got a hobby. What, what's his hobby? Oh, looking for tumors. Yeah, that's, that's, see, that's not a very good hobby. I think one of the problems is that, that, that I'm not the kind of dad who exposes him to a lot of things, you know, like sports or camping or anything like that. Well, why don't you do that then? Well, because I, uh, you know how I feel about the outdoors. I'm really not crazy about uh, nature and, you know, bugs and stuff. Really? You know, I, I feel like if the good Lord wanted us to go camping, he wouldn't have created four-star hotels. I believe that in my heart. He's the only 24-year-old male that I know who has his own speculum. And that is not right. You know, there's... It's not that I don't care, Yeah. okay? It's just that... I, it's probably really, you know, this is probably like a... It, it, wouldn't Ben be sort of upset with you if you if you knew you were telling I, me these I think things? Be, I, I think he's proud. I think he because thinks that his scrotum is the sec center of the universe. I'm just going to go down and wipe up because, you know, I think I, I see a big mess down yeah. here at the end of the... I'm not much for, for words, poetry, or, or anything. Else. But maybe this interpretive dance and this little ditty will help you know how, how I really feel about you. Dr. Katz, I think I'm falling hard for Dr. Katz. And even though I know that it ain't right every night, it's me and him in my dreams. In my dreams. Dr. Katz. World moves much too fast for Dr. Cash. Even though I know that it ain't right. Can't you see I'm in pain, Doc? So what did the doctor say? Well, you know, he said that uh, everything checked out okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the blood work looked good. Mm -hmm. Everything was solid. Uh, he said I need to lose a little weight mm -hmm. and uh, be a little more active. Right. You know? And I said no. Well, I you got to be firm. You I don't gotta, want this guy running your life. i got to draw the line. Sure. Yeah. But he did say a couple of good things. And But, uh -huh. you know, I was wondering if uh, if there's a history of SIDS in our family. Is that possible? No, it's... It's not possible. Do, do, do you do you even know what SIDS stands for? I, I don't, know. It stands for Sudden Infant Death Syndrome, Ben. Uh-huh. They, they used to call it crib death. Yeah, that sounds horrible. Yeah. Well, so you, what, what do you think, like a, a guy like me, what are the chances? Ben, Sudden Infant Death Syndrome. What if it's not so sudden? Mm, gradual Infant Death Syndrome. Yeah. You have, you have grids. <laughs> Why are you always picking on me? I mean, as if I'm the well, only one in here, you know? I mean, Tom, this is, this is what it's about. I mean, you, you come here, you... It's about hurt? Sometimes it is. It's about digging, Doc? It's about digging into my life? My personal life? Sometimes it is. The reason I can't settle down with one woman is because, first of all, I love my girlfriend. I love her very dearly. And I, only, I have one wish in life, that her and my wife could get along. You see what I'm saying? I like sex, Dr. Katz. I really... That's great, Louie. That's... I like the whole... I I just like the whole doing it. Sometimes when I'm having sex, I just... I get so happy. I just want to... I just want to yell, Hooray! Yeah. Hooray for this! Hip, hip, hooray! Mm -hmm. But women don't really respond to that in a very sensual way. I think you can say hooray without actually saying it. Are you afraid of crowds? I like uh, big crowds. I like uh, I like standing in a big crowd of people and just yelling, uh, "Hey, Jimmy, Mike!" Whoops! You know what the music means. Our time is up. Timmy. <laughs> <laughs>